$350 ticket they gave me for uh, parking in a handicap for one second. Now, I didn't get out the vehicle, right? I um, saw no parking on the ground, so I went around and I parked in the other spot, and it was nighttime. So no parking on the ground, but then you went and you parked in a handicap spot. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Three hundred and fifty dollars. Do you know? Do you know when 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 the court date is? Guess. Like December twenty first. Like they want me to give them three hundred fifty dollars, three days before Christmas, because I stepped foot. Uh, I put parked in a handicapped spot for one second, and boom, he was on me. That's crazy. So you know what I should do? No, hold on. No, 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 no. So you know what I should do? I should go to court and be like, are you motherfuckers for real? No, you gotta do the pity party thing. Yeah, crying. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna annoy Start everybody. Be like, it's I Christmas, I got four kids and my baby mama left me. Yeah, my, my girl, my girlfriend's out there sucking dicks all <laughs> over. She's, she fucking everybody. I heard she's, I heard she, sl she slept with my uncle, uh, judge. Nah, but for real though, I'm gonna be like, so you want me to pay three hundred fifty dollars because I, I parked in a, a handicap spot at, at midnight for one second, did not get out the car, and, it would be funny if you and who was I hurting? You know, who who are we hurting at this point? You know what I mean? Like really, at this point, you're stealing money from the fucking people because nobody got hurt. There's a these are victim victimless crimes. Oh, I've gotten away of a handicapped person? No, if a handicapped person came up and said something, I would move. Right. Fuck it, I would probably carry the handicapped person into the into the gas station no, on my back. Day, I went into Remember when I carried that handicapped kid who got shot? Remember because he had to get in my car? Oh yeah, that was. Crazy. Remember how I carried him? You carried him all the way up the stairs. I was like, you're doing. I was carrying this handicapped. We know this handicapped dude got shot. He was, was gangbanging shit. I'm carrying him and shit. Put him in my front seat, you know, I was big, I was fresh out the joint. I'm still I'm still big, but I was big then. He's like, damn, bro, I'm throwing dude out my back and shit. I got his arms right here. I'm just carrying him up the, up the stairs and shit. Remember I carried him up the... <laughs> I had him in the Cadillac. He got a, uh, I saw him, I saw him the other day on 87th. He, he got, he got a, uh, a Odyssey. Driving around an Odyssey. I'm like, yeah, damn, bro, he got Odyssey. I'm talking shit, right? He's he like, yeah, bro. Hand controls. That's cool. Yeah, he got hand controls on his shit. Yeah. Yep. He says he's out living on Hammond or something. Yeah, I was carrying him around and shit for like two days. Chilling with him. It was, it was crazy. It's crazy too. When he goes to the bathroom, he got to crawl. Anyway, I'm gonna stop no, talking about that. He just goes to the bathroom right there. I thought. I don't know, man. All I know is I was carrying him and shit. Anyway, that's not the point. I should go into the courtroom with him. <laughs> <laughs> they, instead of like pitying you, they arrest you? No, they might. They might get mad because I'm going to be like, how does this help anybody? I'm not paying this shit. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. They're go not ahead, even going to talk to you, bro. They I know they're not even going to talk to me, but the dude's like, oh, you get it down at court. I'm going to go to court. 350 hours is. A lot of money it's gonna be for like somebody right before who Christmas. In a handicapped spot, raise your hand. Okay, and then I talk to the people inside the gas station. They're like, "Bro, they just wait there. They just wait there because the handicapped thing is, is isn't that you can't really see it too well, and they just pounce on people. So it's traps. This is what our po our policing is in in Cook County, Chicago. It's not here to help you. They're the enemy. If something bad's going on, people say the last thing you should do. Sometimes it's called the police because they're going to come here and make things way worse. If you're having a dispute with like a neighbor or anybody else, do not call the police. Handle this shit yourself. Be a man. Huh? Nothing. Right. If, 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 if you beat them up, they're beat up. If they beat you up, you're beat up. Oh, well. Don't call the police because now you're beat up and everybody's in jail. Now you're beat up and you're in jail. It doesn't help. They're just gonna lock you up. Fuck, man. $350. $350, and then they said they do this every day. Because you can't really see it in the dark. And it's not like it does it's it doesn't what fit. What was the tagline? Perv and collect. Yeah, it said a serve and protect, perv and collect. I guess I guess it rhymes. The collect part for sure. Mm -hmm. The perv part.
for sure too, but it doesn't really work. But yeah, man, I was gonna show my ticket, but I left my ticket. I was gonna show show YouTube the fuck they're trying to talk about. December twenty first, three hundred fifty dollars. I'm gonna go there and be like, so. They don't care about. I know they don't care, but they but, don't care about Christmas. Really, I shouldn't even they're go a there. Bunch of Jews. No, I'm just be like, you want this three hundred fifty dollars? You know, uh. That's all the money I saved up for the last four months. To buy my to buy sick aunt a Christmas present. To buy to buy my to buy my mama like uh uh something funny or They're something be like, funny. Get the fuck out of here. I saved up three hundred fifty dollars for the last four months. To buy my mama I work a in a factory. I work in a factory <laughs> on Forty Seventh. I'm gonna tell them I work in a factory on, on Forty. I, I work in a grocery store. I work on Fair Play on Forty Seventh and Emerald, stocking uh shelves. <laughs> I work at that fair play at 47th and Emerald. I had to take the bus there. Oh in this in this weather. Because that wasn't even my car. That was not even my car. How y'all gonna give me a ticket? That wasn't even my car. You I wasn't can't even take in it. it. Right. I was I didn't even get out. How am I parking? That's called standing. But I looked it up. I guess you can't. You know, of course they changed the law. So you can't stand in a handicapped spot. Bro, I carry... Lucky I'm going to bring that handicapped motherfucker in there with me. That's what I need to do. You should. You should just say you forgot to put your handicapped... I'm gonna, that's on. what I'm going to do. The handicapped dude I was just talking about? I'm going to say he was sleeping. No, he was in your car. He was in the back sleep. Balled up. They didn't see him because he was balled up under some blankets and shit. Yeah. Or he was in the bathroom, bro, at the gas station. Right, and I carry him around everywhere, and I'm gonna carry him into the courtroom. I'm gonna make like a, I'm gonna get like a sheet, like wrap it around him and shit. Hold up, hold up. See, I don't know if like the things are registered to your car. If you could just take you need them a off. placard. It said I had no placard. They they got they got. My mama has a placard. I don't know, man. I'm gonna go in there with your mama. Not with my mom, but just her placard. You only gotta. You got you gotta register really to a vehicle, probably. I don't know, because we take... Then they'll give me another ticket for fake placard. No. They'll be like, fuck you, bro. Oh, maybe. I don't want to, <coughs> like, ruin her hand. I got to hit up my handicap, homie. But anyway, this video is all about just basically, like, the police are not fucking helping things by just getting people tickets. They're fucking taking money from people, putting a gun to your head, like, you can't drive unless you pay this money. We'll go after your license. We'll take your vehicle. We'll tow you. This is theft, okay? The country was founded on motherfuckers getting pissed off about a little bitty ass tax on their tea. The tea they fucking got the Chinese to make and they sold them heroin for it. You know? They would like sell them heroin and then sell us, sell us slaves. Just a nightmare and it's still going on. It's just rape. How is this fucking... I know how it is because this is just a symptom of the problem. America ha cannot, cannot stand much longer. It, it really isn't a country. It's a bunch of little tribes. Maybe we think like that because we're in Chicago, you know? Like maybe They say, the people out in the country say that they, they don't have it as bad. But, hey, guess what, man? Everybody's going to be getting fucked. Yeah, I mean, imagine a peaceful country life. Yeah, but that shit's not boring confronted. as hell. I you, know, but it's trade, nice. It's a trade-off, you know? Fuck this city. What are you I talking guess. about? I'm like, nothing here. happens really in the country. I can't go nowhere, though, you because I've been Wisconsin racing. for five days, and you thought you were going to die, so you're the one talking. No, I was I was fine. I'm fine. What the fuck was I missing in Wisconsin? Nothing. All I do here is you talk shit. You were crying, though. You can talk shit there. Like, I was talking shit with the Indians. I was over the Indian thing gambling and shit. They were getting mad at me and shit. I was all fucked up up there and shit. But that's it, man. Fuck the police and these bullshit ass tickets. That's the point. Bad video, but fuck the police. But then again, if po any police see this, this is not directed at you. <laughs> and I don't want no problems.